Hi, told you I was going to try and shoot a second video, so I'm in the same clothes, but they, hey, I shifted around a little bit. I figured you really didn't need to see me as much. I didn't need to see anything. Anyway, so I have uh, watched The Greatest Showman. That was my G movie. I absolutely love this movie. I don't know if you know this, I have figured this out yet, but I am a big musical um, person. I did this a lot. I, I love musicals. I, you know, I figure I've got at least one more musical in my repertoire that I'll be going into, if not two more. We we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, so I did The Greatest Showman. I love The Greatest Showman. I have fun, nine facts to share with you about it. They're actually flashing up in front of me. Um... So I will try and read them as I can see them. Uh, I may have to go back because they're actually flashed them in front of me. Um, but I probably will go back and do them again. See if I can figure out where they are. I am actually not prepared for this, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. I kind of am, but not so. I need to like start over so I can actually read it and pause it. Well, you know what? It decided that it doesn't want to do it at all. All right. Let me see where. Okay. All right. This has um, huge Jackman in it. Zydea from. She was on Disney Channel. I think she's, she was a spy on Disney Channel. I can't remember what character she played. But anyway, um, go to show me start with it's pretty much um a movie about pt barnum and his circus i don't believe that it actually is like 100 percent correct maybe i think some of the things in it are definitely correct um but not everything so but it, the music in it is what draws me to it it's just absolutely that beautiful so Z zendaya i'm pretty sure it's pronounced right did all of her own trapeze stunts for the film. It took her months of practice to do this. And I'm just going to read them to you as they pop up because that was really good. Hugh Jackman plays P.T. Barnum. It's the real life P.T. Barnum. Um, the original P.T. Barnum Circus ran for 100. Oh, wait a minute. It went too fast. Pause. Bye bye, baby. Bye bye, baby. It ran for 146 years. I saw that in real life, it just re but it closed in 2017 which was sad. The singer Jenny Lynn was a real person. She did a show with P.T. Barnum for a while. Um, okay. Many of the costumes worn by the circus cast came from the real Barnum, Barnum Circus, which is interesting. The fire scene with special effects got out of hand, and the whole set burned down for real. Zach Raffern was not was lucky not to be hurt. Rebecca Ferguson, who plays opera singer Jenny Lynn, didn't actually sing in the movie. The voice is dubbed with a real opera singer, which... I'm sorry to hear that, but man, she looks like she's singing it from her heart, and it looks like it is real. And I will tell you, I can't sing by myself, um, but I can harmonize with somebody. If they can hit the note, I can hit the note, and I blend well with people. But to sing for myself, nah, I'm a little too nasally. But I can, and I don't understand how I can do that, but I can. But I love to sing with somebody. I'm more or less the backup person as opposed to front runner. That's okay. I can live with that. But I love that song that she sings. Lila Setti, who plays the bearded lady, um, okay, was covered in purple so oh, Wait a minute, it went too fast. I hate when they go too fast, and there's no way to like go back and see them. But she was covered in purple slime. Let's see why. She's covered in purple slime to make a cast for her makeup for the beard. That she actually, actually, actually wears. I love the songs that she sings too. He was having wanted to make the movie for seven years, but it took him that long to convince the big bosses that people would watch it. It's a good movie. It really is. He was right. We all loved it. It really was worth it. Um, and that's the nine facts that they gave you. So that was pretty quick. Boy, you had to like keep your eyes on there at all times. So I'm trying to get back now to where I want to see what was actually offered to me. 
So I will write that website. I will write that website. I will write that information down. Um, it was published September fifteenth, twenty twenty. Um, absolutely love. No, nope, that was not right. This movie came out. Let's see. Let's see what I can find. I'll have to look and see when it was actually published because none of these are actually giving me that information. Um, let's see. See if it has on here one of these sites that I can see where it actually tells you when this movie was done. Uh, burst in, on the cinemas. I knew it was not 2020. 2017. Uh, it's Right now it's available for free. I have Direct TV, uh, not Direct TV. I have Xfinity and it's free, so I can watch it um, for free. And I just have to record. And anytime it comes on, I just record it because my husband has tendency to record, turn them off for me. Um, let me get back to another one. It anyway. So, and it looks like uh, the Hunger Games. Oh, thing I made for it. Uh, this is not the exact one, but this is exactly what I worked on. Um, I worked on a scar for Operation Gratitude. That's what I did. I No, no, I didn't. Showed the wrong thing. I actually worked on, from Setus Place, my crochet along. So, I put on pause so I can get it. It's at my feet. I showed this on my last uh, video 35. I'm sorry, action was done on a greatest showman. I thought I was actually doing a thing. I gotta start writing down what I'm actually working on because I'm forgetting. But anyway, I was working on this. This is, is long enough to be a um, pocket shawl. I don't think I'm gonna put pockets on it. It's my own design. It is in five weight. That's why it has these big holes in between there because I wanted them in there. This is such a heavy material. This is from Premier Toy Box Colorway Finger Paint. Um, I have four four balls, four skeins of this, so I want to use it up. Uh, I don't grab gravitate to uh, five weight yarns, but I do gravitate to mystery boxes from Mary Maxim, and that's where I seem to get my five weight yarns because I have another one that came in a mystery box of that so I want to turn around and actually use them so I needed to pick something that had purples and pinks from a picture that we go by and that's what I chose to do so um, I did have something for this week to show for my movies so I'm going on to letter H letter H it looks like it's going to be Hunger Games like I said I have Xfinity and right, well, it doesn't matter because right now that is free on Tubi. So it looks like that's what I'm going to be watching. I like The Hunger Games. Unfortunately, I have only watched the first movie. Um, so I'm going to watch that movie. Hopefully it will inspire me to watch some of the other movies. I really, really like the movies. I have read all three of the books, too. Um, I did it just because my daughter had them saved on her pad and I just started reading them and that's how I got interested in them um but yeah let me see how it goes so I hope you have a good day remember I can't do it because my computer's sitting on my legs hashtag movie and stitches if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't you can give it a thumbs down but I might cry anyway if you like the videos subscribe over there hit the little bell so that you can turn around and hear get all the videos when they come up and I'll see you next time.